Greetings from IITM student community. Those who are interested in joining our qualifier coaching may contact the given WhatsApp number to enroll. We will cover full syllabus along with mock tests and graded assignment detailed explanation. With 24 7 hours doubt clearance support. Hello everyone. Welcome to IIT Madras uh, student community. So today we are going to discuss about uh, uh, maths graded assignment one given for BS in electronic students who are in qualified level. So for your kind information, the due dates of the graded assignment had been extended till 12th of this month, that is day after tomorrow. So it is um, mostly recommended to submit your graded assignments as soon as possible because uh, submitting these graded assignments uh, counts a lot for your qualifier exam. So while discussing, let's start discussing the questions. The first question tells that uh, the first question is about the area and triangles. So it is given that the height of a right angle triangle is 2 cm more than its base and the triangle of, area of the triangle is given that 24 square cm. So okay, we know that uh, area of triangle is equal to half into base into height. No. Uh, let's assume that base is equal to some variable b and height is equal to some variable h. Okay, it is given given that the relationship be, be, between this base and height it is given that h is equal to b plus 2. This is one of the relation we have. This is one of the relation we have here and now it is given that the area a is equal to 24 square centimeters now substituting all these values in this formula we will get that 24 is equal to half into b into b plus 2 okay on on simplifying the equation we get 48 is equal to b square plus 2b once again b square plus 2b minus 48 is equal to 0 and finally on solving this quadratic equation this quadratic equation can be written as uh, b square plus 8b minus 6b minus 48 is equal to 0 that implies uh, b let's take it as common b plus 8 minus 6 into b plus 8 is equal to 0 and uh, b minus 6 into b plus 8 is equal to 0 so that implies b is equal to 6 and b is equal to 8 as all of us know that uh, uh, length cannot be negative it can only be positive so finally we get that b is equal to 6 centimeters so as they ask the height so the height is equal to b plus 2 we get the height is equal to 8 centimeter so answer for this first question is uh, 8 centimeter moving on to the second question so it is given that uh, determine the range of the value of x uh, given that the maximum number of connectors you can buy okay here is the paragraph. Bharat has X rupees with him to purchase chips and connectors for cons constructing a motherboard. If a chip cost 90 and a connector cost 110. So this is the question. So for the second question as it is mentioned here. Cost of each connector. Uh, one connector is equal to cost of one connector. Is equal to 110 rupees and cost of 15 sorry connectors is equal to 110 into 15 that is equal to 1650 rupees so as it is given that the Bharat uh, can buy 15 maximum number of connectors is 15 so the minimum value of x must be this one 1650 because uh, in case if he as it is given that he can buy 15 connectors minimum this amount of money should be and uh, if he wanted to buy an another extra connector 
that is if you want to buy 16 connectors that is 15 plus 1 then you need around 17 60 rupees but the case it is given that maximum number of connectors you can buy is only 15 so the range of the x must be in between 16 50 less than or equal to x less than 17 59 which is the third option so moving on to the third question it is given that uh, uh, that Bharat has uh, 1700 rupees and it is given that he buys uh, 11 chips and maximum number of connectors the cost of each chip as we know one chip is equal to 90 rupees so cost of 11 chips is equal to 11 into 90 that is equal to 990 obviously so the money remained with him now so the money remained with him is equal to 1700 minus 990 that is equal to 710 rupees is now remaining with him now uh, let us check how many connectors he could buy with this as we know the cost of each connector is 110 rupees so let's check with six connectors the cost of six connectors is equal to 660 rupees now the finally the remaining money with him is equal to 710 minus 660 that is equal to 50 rupees moving on to the next question fourth question okay <coughs> this question is based on coordinate geometry it is given that Ankit is uh, situated at 3 comma 3 on a cottage in plane he contacts Ajay to inquire about his location Ajay uh, what it is given here the Ajay provides a description of the path he follows from his house which is located at the origin Ajay states I proceed 3 units so basically to do this problem let's pull out a graph here so on this graph we can mention that uh, this is north direction and this is east direction so as it is given in the uh, question that uh, Ankit is currently situated at 3 comma 3 so Ankit is currently situated at here and now when we proceed to the question it is given that um, uh, he had contacted Ajay whose house is near the origin located at the origin and Ajay states that uh, I proceed 3 units towards the east and 9 units towards the north okay. 3 units his house is here basically Ajay's house and he said that he proceeds 3 units towards the east that means 3 units this way and then 9 units this way that means he goes here and he says to repeat this uh, 3 times another two times okay when we repeat this another two times we come here this is uh, the place where Ankit is there this place and this is the place where Ajay is there so the coordinates of this place are 9 comma 27 and coordinates of this place where Ankit is there is 3 comma 3 now what is the question is where is the Ajay stand the Ajay is standing right now at 9 comma 27 So this is the right option and one more thing Ankit should follow the line to reach the Ajay. So here involves the math. So now we want to find out the line equation joining the two points 3 comma 3 and uh, 9 comma 27. So as we know the two point form of a line it is y minus 3 by x minus 3 is equal to 27 minus 3 by 9 minus 3 that is equal to 24 by 6 4 times y minus 3 is equal to 4x minus 12 so finally the answer comes to be 4x minus y minus 9 is equal to 0 so the another option that is correct is 4x minus 9 minus 9 is equal to 0 now what is the third question is Ajay has walked a distance of 
24 units from the house now we have to measure the distance so as it is given as a first for traveled 3 units in the east and then 9 units in the north again 3 units in the east and 9 units in the north and again 3 units in the east and 9 units in the north finally reach this point now to calculate the distance uh, which this uh, guy Ajay followed we have to find distance so we know distance is the path length so basically it is 3 plus 9 plus 3 plus 9 plus 3 plus 9 that is equal to 36 so here it is given the 24 which is a wrong option so the answer for this fourth question is ANC thanks for watching join the channel the 119 plan only by clicking the join button after subscribing to the channel to see the remaining part of our graded assignment videos please note IITM student community has launched IITM BS in ES qualifier coaching at just 799 rupees see you in the next video bye